I'm Harvey Diaz, and I'm here at Glad Tonight because we're nominated for what we do in the shadows. And what does that nomination mean to you, particularly from an organization like that? Well, from Glad. Well, it means the world just because, I mean, I hope we win. But even if we don't, being here under this room with so many queer artists, look at this room. It's just like it, everyone who is an ally of queer artists himself is here tonight. And, and now more than ever, is we need to be reminded about this. We need to be reminded about, like, we're not going anywhere. You know, especially what's happening across the, the U.S. right now. It's kind of like a great reminder that we're here and we're not going anywhere. And why do you think it's important that we have LGBTQ representation in all, across all kinds of genres? It's super important, you know, as a kid growing up who was queer and, and brown and proud, um, I was just never seeing myself up on screen, maybe a little feel defeated. And so when you see yourself on screen, you feel included. And when you're included, you feel like you belong. And when you don't feel like you belong, that's when you start going to the slippery slope and it's dark. And we don't need kids to be going down the slippery slope. So we need to remind them of how valuable they are in the life they're living and in their truth. And what has being part of the show meant to you? Because it's such a popular and much really well loved show. It's been great. The show's been fantastic. And the idea with the story and the trajectory of Guillermo and the way that he's going, and now he came out this last season, it's a huge deal. Um, I'm so glad. It's just like seeing his sweet story coming from being submissive and quiet and shy. Because sometimes as queer people, we are forced into these spaces because we are afraid to show too much. And if we talk a certain way, we show our manners and just stay quiet and out of sight. Because then people start questioning and asking questions. And it's no one's business. When you're ready to come out, you're ready to come out. There's no taking time off. There's no expiration date. Everyone should be able to live their life at their fullest. And it's none of no one else's business. So when people come out, I always think it's funny when people say, Oh, I came out. And it's like, well, you didn't come out. You let people in. Because you already knew who you were. You just were felt safe enough and comfortable enough to share that information with someone to let them in. You weren't coming out. You let them in. And so if someone lets you in, be careful what you do with that information. And don't be a dick and attack someone for being who they are. Yeah. Well said. Yeah. <laughs>